In this demonstration segment, I'm going to highlight the differences in spot size and field of view for a cooled infrared camera system like the FLIR A8300SC, an uncooled infrared camera system like the FLIR T1KSC. An advantage of infrared cameras on the market today is the wide array of optics that allow changing the field of view for telephoto, wide angle, and close-up imagery and measurement for a single camera. This is a 4x microscope lens available for cooled camera systems. With this lens, you can resolve down to a spot size of less than 4 microns. This lens is a close-up lens for an uncooled camera, which would allow you to resolve down to a 50 micron spot size. Another option available for cooled camera systems are extension rings. The application of extension rings to standard lenses, like a 25mm or 50mm lens, moves the focal point of the lens, increasing the lens magnification while maintaining a fairly decent working distance. So let's compare the results. In the demonstrations, I will use various extension rings and lenses with the cooled and uncooled camera systems, looking at a dime. Before we compare the field of view imagery from the cooled and uncooled cameras, let's review some field of view terminology. First, the horizontal field of view is what the camera sees at a given distance in the horizontal perspective, and the vertical field of view is what the camera sees in the vertical perspective. The spot size is what one detector pixel will see at a given distance. The fields of view and spot size will vary for a camera system and are dependent upon the lens in use and the distance to the target. Now let's compare some imagery. The images displayed here are of the target, the dime, taken with the A8300SC and T1KSC cameras. Both camera systems are fitted with what are considered the standard lenses. Both cooled and uncooled cameras have various lens options available for achieving various fields of view and spot sizes. One option, however, that is only available for cooled camera systems that is not available for uncooled cameras are extension rings. Extension rings are an inexpensive solution for close-up imaging with a standard lens. Shown here are some of the various fields of view available with an A8300SC, a 50mm lens, and various thicknesses of extension rings. These images were taken with our camera systems fitted with close-up lenses. The A8300SC with a 14 micron lens and a T1KSC with a 50 micron lens. This final comparison shows taking the magnification of the cooled A8300SC one step further. This image is taken with the A8300SC and a 4x close-up lens, resulting in a spot size of 3.5 microns. In conclusion, from our demonstration, we learned that an uncooled camera system like the T1KSC, coupled with a close-up lens, produces fairly good imagery. However, when we compare the results to the cooled camera system, the A8300SC, we saw imagery with greater detail. This is due to the lens capability as well as the better sensitivity of the cooled camera system. We also learned that extension rings, available for cooled camera systems, create flexibility in magnification and working distance at an economically affordable price point. Now a final point. When we talk about imagery, it is important to remember that the imagery is made up of measurement points. As such, the cleaner the imagery, the cleaner the measurement data. Now I understand that your application may not involve the imaging and measurement of a dime. However, I hope you see how powerful IR cameras, lenses, and extension rings can be for conducting thermal analysis on small targets. If you have an application that involves thermal microscopy, give us a call and we can talk about it. Thank you.